What's up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today we're going to be talking about how to fix the PlayStation 5 error code CE-108862-5, or unable to connect to the server. So this is another unexpected error code that could come up when you're trying to connect to the PlayStation server, and we're going to kind of talk about how to like essentially have this fixed. Uh, the first one I'm going to kind of recommend is, it's a little interesting, but restart your PlayStation 5. Um, this one is a little bit different than the other ones, because there's a possible bug that's kind of occurring to this network to be occurring, uh, this error to be occurring, I should say if that doesn't help fix it uh, go back into the playstation 5 and check your the playstation network status make sure everything is obviously not down and is still up to date if it's down just obviously you're gonna have to wait it out and make sure the servers are up and running and then you'll be able to kind of good to go um if obviously everything is still up and you're like all right i'm still not connected what do i do you're going to go into set up internet connection and if you can and you're connected to wi-fi switch over to lan essentially have a wired connection set up into your playstation 5 rather than a wi-fi network a lot of times this fixes a lot of server issues so i would highly recommend you to do that if you can't do that it's fine what you, i'd like you to try next is click the option button and change the wi-fi frequency bands from automatic to 5 gigahertz see if that works if not then 2.4 gigahertz if none of those two work keep it back on automatic and then click into the wi-fi network you are connected to and click into advanced settings in here what you're going to do is you're going to change the dns settings to manual and you're going to change the primary DNS to 8.4.4.8 and the secondary DNS to 8.8.8.8. This will help alleviate and fix any issues you possibly have with the server and then you should be good to go. Um, the only caveat there is if you are not within the US, you might want to use a different DNS server uh, because this is East Coast specific for the US. So just an FYI, um, you can easily find fast and good DNS servers online. So you don't have to kind of like pay for any of this stuff. You can quick Google search will find you the best ones. So I would highly recommend you to kind of like try that out and then you should be good to go. So yeah, that's basically all you guys got to do to be able to fix that issue. Uh, if you guys still have any comments, questions, concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. If um, if you have any other error codes you'd like me to look into, let me know those as well. If you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button. helps a lot. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. On that, welcome out. Peace.